Hi, it's Bill Cobb Appraiser in Baton Rouge. Wanted to go over how to get uh, how to present better for listing photos with a free tool called Microsoft Photo Gallery. Uh, you can download it free at the link right here. I'll put it in the video description. Uh, when you're downloading it and uh, installing it, watch the prompts because it will prompt you to add extra stuff that you really don't need or want. Okay. With this, I have it pulled up in some of the photos that I took of a home uh, for a pre-listing appraisal. And I noticed that this home, let me go over straightening photos first. This is a crooked photo. Sometimes that happens uh, to all of us. And if I go over here to straighten, uh, I can try that right here, straighten first. And it will almost pretty much make it correct. If I want to go uh, lighten the photo a little bit, I can add a little contrast. That's too much. I can take the highlights out. You can see all the things you can do with this particular tool. Um, also, you can adjust the color. You can add add a little bit. This is in November, beginning of November. The grass might be a little, a little dead, so you can add a little bit of color there. Uh, take away some of the brightness or add some brightness to it. Once you're finished, you click on the close file and that's the photo that we just looked at. Um, so that is straightening. I had one photo down here. This is a crooked house as you can tell. If I click on straighten, uh, it looks a little bit off. The lines help you line it up right here with this and this right here. I can move it over a little bit. There's not a whole lot you can do as far as making it look a whole lot better because of the way the sun reflects onto the onto the image itself. You can try to you know take some of the shadows away but it almost just kind of makes it worse. Um, you can maybe add a little bit more color to it. Once you're finished, do close file and it saves your changes. Um, one other thing on here, Don Stern, um, our local agent who teaches the photography class, uh, taught us about nuclear, the nuclear effect with windows and how sometimes when you're taking photos, the sun just comes through and you know how do you handle that? In this particular program, and this is a dark room as well, you can go in and you can take some of the shadows away and lighten up the room some. You can also see what what happens when you use highlights as the nuclear effect is stronger here. You can take a little bit of that out with this particular program. You can line up your wall a little bit better right here with this line and this right there. You can now change your contrast some, make the colors pop a little bit. Again, you're not trying to misrepresent the home, you're just trying to add some light um, so that it can be better seen. Uh, you can also go in here and you can sharpen I normally go at about 25% right there and that photo is going to be a lot crisper than if it just came off your camera. Uh, another thing as far as the nuclear effect is uh, this is a DSLD home in Bouillon Crossing. If you try to add a little bit more light in this photo you'll notice you get a lot of nuclear effect. See how the highlights can help you eliminate that some. As far as straightening the photo, I'm using my wide angle lens on my Canon and you can either straighten it with the roof, with the ceiling line right here or with the floor. If you try to straighten it out with the floor, it makes the ceiling crooked 
and if you try to straighten out at the ceiling level here and here it makes the floor crooked so I need, I need, to, I need to do a better job uh, taking the photos so that right there takes away some of the nuclear effect you have a room right here a bedroom that is you know really too dark and if you go in you can try to add a little bit of light to the room you can go use your highlights see how that takes off from the windows right here and you can take off a little bit of that you still get the little gray area right there I'm not sure exactly how to get rid of that part you can make add a little bit of color there you can go into about one third and at least it looks better than it than it did when you started same thing with the kitchen this is a little bit dark um, you can perhaps straighten it just a little bit and see all the windows that are blown out from the nuclear effect right here see how much that changes that it's not perfect but it, it does make it a little bit better go in and add about 33 percent that photo comes out a little bit better than it was this was a home um, that I did and one of the rooms right here I also wanted to show you this right here this is an outdoor little covered area and the, in the photo even with the cannon it still comes out dark and adjusting it with these settings right here I was able to kind of make it pop a little bit with some of the the colors as far as the the room this is kind of an enclosed type room this is the original photo I took this is the photo after some of my modifications and I can even take a little bit more of that light off I can try to straighten at the ceiling level a little bit more but that is a lot better than that photo right there same thing this was the original photo that I took and I was able to lighten it some take off some of the nuclear effect right here same thing this this is the original photo and it's crooked I was able to go in and fix the photo to some extent this photo right here when I originally took it it was kinda of drab I was able to go in and add some light to it these are my settings and I was able to go in and add a little bit more color to the room this kitchen right here to me is a little bit dark uh, the guy, you know, basically said it was seen by our preference. Really, I think he should put some lights under here or something to light this kitchen. This is one of those energy efficient lights, and it doesn't light this kitchen very well at all. I can go in and add a little bit more light to it. Take off some. Uh, see what it does to the blinds on the highlights. Is takes off some of that so you can see the room better if I wanted to add any color I could not really with this photo and if I wanted to adjust the sharpness at about 33 percent I could do that and it comes out better a little bit better looking photo uh, rooms like this right here you can lighten up some this was a little bit dark go into the highlight take some of the nuclear off and adjust the breakfast area up a little bit add a little bit of light 
and it doesn't take you know if you have one one set of photos for your listing it doesn't take more than probably 10 minutes to do something like this and it really uh, can make a difference um, this was my original photos of the kitchen and see how dark it is right here let's see um, if there's any other photos I prefer to take the photos without the, without the flash. With the flash, it just makes it dark. See how these lights are really kind of nuclear? You can go in and you can lessen. You can lessen that effect. You can make the room more lit up. And you can control that. It's not a whole lot you can do when you're shooting against direct sunlight on a bright day. You can adjust the color just a little bit and the sharpen at about one third. This was a uh, this was a media room that was very dark, and it's actually a little bit. And they're thinking there's no hope for this photo. Well, if you go in like this, do some of the highlights. It works. This is what we started out with basically and this is the finished product. So. I mean, this isn't photo sold quality, but it certainly helps your listing photos, uh, you know, up, appear much better in your in your listings. This bathroom right here is kind of dark, so as we go in, add some light, straighten that wall a little bit, add a touch of color, and sharpen it some. And this is basically what we started with, and this is what we're finishing with. So as you can see, this free s software can help your, your listing photos. Um, let's see. This bedroom is a little bit dark. Usually try to take the some of the settings up to the maximum and then kind of go down from there. It sort of looked like this when we started. Now it looks like this. So that is how I use the. Um, Microsoft Live Photo Gallery on some of the photos that I take, especially at least straightening the photos um, for my appraisals and especially for my listing appraisal clients. Trying to, I generally send them the, send them all these photos in a Dropbox file that they can use, uh, you know, either if for self as for sale by owner or for their agent when I do pre-listing appraisals. And uh, when they get these, um, they really they really like them. So hope that helps. Thanks so much.